It's time we called BS on the gas industry. Despite the fact that we're producing three times more gas than we used to, the price of gas is high, the price of electricity is high, and here we are having a cold winter where Australians can't afford to keep warm. Trebling the supply of gas hasn't helped at all for the simple reason that all we're doing is exporting it so that the gas companies are making a fortune, paying not very much tax and leaving us with high electricity and gas bills as a result. Now, of course, the gas industry is running around saying, oh, why don't you let us drill for more gas? Why don't you subsidize us some more? Well, again, trebling the gas production hasn't helped. Increasing it more wouldn't help in the short term, it takes years to drill new wells, and it won't help in the long term because they'll just export that gas as well. So what can we do? Well, the first thing we should do is copy what that lefty Boris Johnson's done in the UK and stick what's called a windfall profits tax on the gas industry. The reason the world price of gas is high at the moment is because of the war in Ukraine. And that terrible war is actually stuffing money into the pockets of the people exporting gas from Australia. So we should take a leaf out of the book of the English, we should tax the windfall profits of the gas industry, and what can we do with that money? Well, anything we want. But the smart things to do would be to help low-income households insulate their houses and get off gas. We should speed the transition to renewables as quick as we can, or we can just post checks to people who are struggling with the cost of high gas. So we need to get off gas eventually. These record prices of gas don't have to burden us. They can actually be a huge source of tax revenue to help Australia make the transition away from fossil fuels that we know we need to make. It's not complicated. There's just a lot of BS from the gas industry standing in our way.